of our brand new delivery service. <laughs> Jaboa Express. Express for all, all your mail. mail. We, we are, are the best. best. The Jaboa, that's me. I am one speedy little rodent. Oh, <laughs> and so modest too. Come on now, better start delivering all this mail. My darling princess, how wonderful you look in the morning sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Your Royal Highnesses, Jerboa Express. You each have a letter. <laughs> Yee -hee -ha! Oh. To my dearest Olivia. Oh, you wrote me a love letter. What better way to try out the new delivery system? To my darling Norbert. Oh, and you did the same. Oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, howdy, Ellery. What are you doing in the middle of the road? I'm picking up my mail, of course. I'm sure since you started, you've been flooded with fan letters for me. Hmm. Uh, sorry, but there's nothing in here for you. That's not possible. Look again. Can't stop now, Ellery. Lots more mail to deliver. Maybe there'll be something for you this afternoon. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I had no idea there were so many nutshells in that cupboard. Good job. <sighs> Thank you, Chef Dord. What's next? Well, the terrace needs a good scrubbing. You can count on me. Ouch. Hmm. Hello, Thorn. Jerboa Express. Letter for you. Dear Thorn, I would like to order a giant carrot cake for a special occasion. Please deliver to Ellery's Burrow. Signed, a park animal who you don't know. This letter could only be from one park animal, and that's Ellery. Hmm. He wants a cake. I'll give him a cake. Bucky! That's the third time today he's disappeared on me. Bucky! Bucky, where are you? Cydia, Spearmint, look what Cap got in the mail. A mushroom carved out of wood. It's amazing. Do you know who sent it? No idea. Anybody at all can drop a letter or a package in the mailbox. I bet I know who did this. Come on. Hi, Rose. Look what I got in the mail. <laughs> Wait, you sent it, right? I was just about to come over and ask if you sent this lovely carving of a rose. Wow, I wish I did, but no. Everyone, look what was in our packages. Mine is a ball of yarn. And I got a four-leaf clover for luck. Oh, somebody knows me very well. <laughs> so Cap, Daffodil, Thistle and I all got sculptures. Right. The four of you. Don't worry, Lilac. You do know there's an afternoon delivery, don't you? Mm. Sorry, Lilac. Not for you. Not for you. Oh. What? Mm. This one's for me. <gasps> It's me and you. Whoever carved this completely captured my speedy look. The rest of the meal? Huh? Not for you. Not for you. <gasps> Lalek, a package for you. Who, me? I wasn't expecting anything. <laughs> look, how did anyone ever do such a thing? I've got to find the perfect spot to put this. 
Chipotle Express, for all your mail, we are the best. So everyone except for Moss and Thorn received a sculpture, which means one of them must be the sculptor. Not Thorn, no. He's busy with spring cleaning at the buttercup. Mm. Moss! Moss! Are you home? Hmm? Oh. <gasps> it looks like Moss has been digging all day. Hmm. I have a feeling that Moss is the key to this mystery. Let's search the whole park. Hey, another hole! Looks like Moss was here. Under Plum's tree. Plum, are you awake? Who wants to know? <laughs> Plum, it's Cap and Rose. We were just wondering if you've seen Moss. I didn't really see him because I went to hide when I heard him. Why would you hide from Moss? Because I heard him say, what a wonderful piece of wood. Imagine all the things I can do with it. Oh, I thought maybe he was going to cut down my tree, so I hid. Don't worry, Plum. Lily buds don't cut down trees. Are you sure that was Moss? Oh, well, not really. <laughs> can I go back to bed now? Of course. And <laughs> thank you. You've been a big help. And one, and two, and three, and four. Isn't exercising together fun? Oh, yes! I could do this all day. Me too. In fact, since I can't stop, I may have to. <laughs> Hello, Your Majesties. We're sorry to bother you, but have you seen Moss? He passed by a while ago, carrying a piece of wood. Hmm. Oh, he... He went... that way. Thank you. Uh, Norbert! I think that's enough exercise for today. <laughs> I don't know what these holes mean, but it sure seems like Moss made all those sculptures. Have either of you seen that so-called delivery service? Oh, you mean Jerboa Express for all your mail. We are the best. The best, my poor. I ordered a giant carrot cake, and look what they delivered instead. A box full of nutshells. Oh, sorry, Ellery. We're busy looking for Moss. Have you seen him? He was by here earlier. Mm. I have no time for his nonsense about wooden sculptures. In fact, I'm going inside to write a letter to the Chiboa Express, demanding that they find my proper package. Moss has to be back at his house by now. Yeah! Rose, are you okay? Mm. Uh, I think so, more or less. Oh, oh. sorry, Rose. Oh, ever since this shovel got delivered to my door, I've been trying it out all over the park. It's fantastic. Wait, so this means you got a mysterious wooden sculpture, too? Even better than a sculpture, this shovel has been carved from the most incredible wood. I can dig anywhere. So if it's not you, that only leaves... Bucky! Gone again. Something's just not right with Bucky today. Hmm. Thorn, was it you who made the wonderful wooden sculptures and sent them to all of us? Huh? It was you! They were all delivered in a box just like that! Oh, that. Zinnia and Spearman dropped it off. I haven't had time to open it. Could you open it now, please, Thorn? We have to see what's inside. <sighs> a spoon. A beautiful and useful wooden spoon. Who did this? <sighs> we thought it was you. I'm beginning to think that this will remain a mystery. <gasps> what chips? And look, there are others. Whoever dropped these wood chips was tired. Look how they walked all over the place. Now I recognize the teeth marks on this spoon. Not many can carve with their teeth, but if it's who I think it is, they would be very tired after carving that many sculptures. Too tired to clean or rake up wood chips. Bucky? Huh? Uh, I was just... I must have... Um, I can explain. Are you the one who sent wooden sculptures to all of the lily buds? Uh, well... Yes. I wanted to make presents for all of you, so I worked late last night and most of today, too. I'm sorry, Chef Thorne. It's fine, Bucky. I thought you weren't your usual hard-working self. <laughs> Rose, I believe your mystery is solved. Except for why, Bucky? Because I... I feel so happy when I'm around you guys. 
I wanted to say so for a long time, but I guess I'm just shy. <laughs> Thank you, Bucky. We all <laughs> love our presents. Cap's right, Bucky. Look, this spoon, I, I... I mean, this spoon is... What I mean to say is... Ah, oh, Chef Thorn, you don't have to say a thing. Good. Except this. Forget spring cleaning. Let's have a party for Bucky! Yay, Bucky! I never got one letter from my fans. Not even a postcard. Not to mention my giant carrot cake never arrived at all. <gasps> Wait, what's this? <laughs> wood? Who sends someone a cake made of wood? Well, it's still mail. where a lily bud might be hiding. Subscribe to ZK Junior now and be first to see our latest videos.